Well, here are a lot of my pieces that I got from Big Lot on sale. Now, I want you to keep in mind that all the plants you see in here I already had, so I didn't buy any new plants for this post. And I only bought two sets from Big Lots, and they were each $5 each. So everything you see here, everything, even including the table and chair set and the mushrooms, total I spent on every single thing you see here, $11. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe $12. Can't remember now what I paid for those mushrooms, if they were a dollar a piece or what. But anyway, we'll max it out at 12 just in case I'm wrong. But the most I spent was $12, including the mushrooms, including the little table and chair set. Two nice size uh, tents for the fairies and gnomes to camp in. And their little hammocks to sleep in. And they're even their little fire pit and their welcome sign. Every single thing you see here, total cost was $12. So when people think you have to spend a lot of money to do a fairy garden, yeah, you can spend a lot of money if you want, but you don't have to. And what I will do with these, I will turn them around and use them for different items and different things. I can put these little tables and chairs set in a different uh, setting. The mushrooms I can use multiple times. So I'll have a lot of fairy gardens coming up in the near future. They're going to be free because the items that I bought here on sale can be used with other things and I won't have to spend any money. So right now we're in for $12 and this is a really big fairy garden. And these are really big pieces. These are not tiny little pieces. These are good size. As you can see the fern behind it, it it's, it's holding its own with it. And this little thing here is in its own little container. And this container here is pretty big. It's not little. So um, I thought it turned out really cute. I was so happy and thanks to my fairy follower that told me about the big sale over at Big Lots because I wouldn't have been over there if I hadn't heard about it. So I really appreciate all the help that my fairy followers and you know let me know that there's sales out there to go out there and hurry and get going because they know how what I like to do. My fairy gardens are very important to me. and. very very important to me so anyway I just wanted to show you what $12 can get you when you catch stuff on sale and like I said these items I put all together because they're all basically belong together size wise and that's another thing you're gonna see some pieces that I do have other tents and stuff but they're really tiny and I do put tiny fairies with them and tiny gnomes with them so I have all different kinds of fairy gnomes and uh, fairy and gnomes that are different sizes that I have to be careful and the same with houses I mean these tents are bigger than a lot of my fairy houses well I guess I'm gonna have to let you go now I just wanted to share with you what I did with my uh, items that I got with big lots uh, this week like I said $12 the most I spent was $12 can't believe it and don't forget we can redo this later and it can be a free garden so we're going to do some free fairy gardens next year. Maybe what I will do next year, because I'm not going to have a lot of money next year, because I'm doing other things, and I have so much fairy product. Maybe we should do a whole year, I don't know if I can do this, a whole year of no buying. may have to buy some plants, so I don't want to say they're going to be 100% free. But I really think I could probably not spend any money for any gnomes, fairies, anything just everything I already personally own and just go through all my boxes and do a whole year of nothing but free except for plants yeah let's try that that should be my next challenge for next year because I need to work on my food garden and that's gonna cost me money and I can't only have so much money and now that I'm doing tablescapes and I have so little items for tablescapes like for spring and I don't know what I'm gonna have to buy for Christmas so that's a good idea. Let's do a, see what we can do and how many fairy gardens I can do for free except for plants. Okay, that's my, I think that's going to be my challenge for uh, 2020. That might be a really good challenge to show that you don't have to spend a ton of money. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. If you're not already following, 
please start following everybody and uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up I feel sad sometimes you guys look at it but you don't give me the thumbs up come on I'm trying my best I'm not I'm not a professional anything so give me a thumbs up also come on see you later bye bye